so welcome welcome everybody you are um tuning in to a new human experience podcast today is march the 18th 2021 and the topic this evening is dna and consciousness so the um, this this month I've been kind of talking about or exploring the idea of unboxing. So, and I remember what really prompted me to, to go go down this route is that I'm really interested, or or um, to to start to um, <clears throat> really go into reactivating the all all the um, the DNA capabilities that we as human beings uh, have access to. I remember Franco Di Nicola mentioning that we, our DNA was actually contributed um, by like 12, on average between 12 to 14 different races, um, um, different races from the galaxies that contributed to to our DNA makeup. And so I wanted to start to explore more of and also know more about the the our DNA ancestors. So the DNA ancestors includes um, Pleiadians, Syrians, Acturians, Lemurians, Reptilians, and, you know, and also, you know, many more. So on average between 12 to 14, some people have 14 and some maybe have as little as, um, you know, five or seven of them. So, but on average, they are 12. Um, between 12 to 14. So I was actually, um, very interested to to learn more about what those races are and what their capabilities are and, and try to reactivate them um, within myself and really start to to talk to my own DNA to so so when I so that's 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 that was my motive and of course it's for a purely selfish reason because I really want to um, I, I know that our DNA is already being reactivated because of the, the, the energies, the incoming energies that's coming in from the, from the sun and from all different parts of the galaxies. All these, these energies are hitting the earth and hitting everyone on earth and every being, any sentient and non sentient um, well, okay, I, I would think of a rock as being non-sentient. Maybe that's, uh, um, uh, I would say, their, their wisdom or their knowingness is very different from ours. Um, so, but all these different energies are hitting us. And I know in our DNA is being reactivated. However, I, I also want to do extra work so I can um, speed up that process. So, so from the beginning of the month, I was um, talking, looking into, you know, the, the, the structures, the structures meaning that we, how we, how our consciousness is being structured because um, I really want to, to start to um, get into a more flexible and flowing structure for myself, because I, I really have been um, holding on to my beliefs for a long time, and and it's, I think it is recently I was more able to let things go. The the and as the, the energy becomes stronger, it really helps me to, to let things go easier. And, and so that's why I looked into different structures. And then last week I talked about, uh, I looked into, um, starting to look into DNA ancestors and I 
I found out, you know, or, or well, I kind of know already, but I found out more and really want to expose myself and everyone else more about the um, our Anunnaki background is that there has been rumors, um, rumors meaning that we haven't quite found the um, the the concrete proofs yet. Um, however, there are strong, really strong suggestions that it is really um, the Anunnaki that that kind of um, mixed took an indigenous. Um, race of, of beings and and mixed and spliced the Anunnaki's DNA in order to create us. And I kind of found out that, oh, that 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 indigenous spe um, space race of being is is uh, the most likely the Lyrans. So and I also found out that gene splicing or just gene manipulation on its own really cannot permanently change our DNA. And that's why there's a lot of um, consciousness engineering, or in other words, mind control or some sort of um, consciousness control, really controlling how we think and what we think that's going on. And we can see that, um, really front row and center now. Um, that's why a, a lot of the, the, the TV programs is the way they are because um, maybe not for um, nefarious reasons, but, but for whatever reasons, there, there's been always people who wants to convince us even something um, as simple as an advertisement. It's like the, the People that are selling cosmetics wants to convince us that we need their product in order to um, be more, um, look better, to be better, to feel better. So, so all of these, um, it's maybe mind control is not the right word for it, right words for it. it it's really convince us to see things in a, um, in a way that is going to benefit the, the person the, or the organization that is um, putting the advertisement out. So all this, this is, a lot of it is really trying to convince other people. So all the, the mind control part has to um, it's really the, the, the front and center in terms of controlling and, and, and changing our DNA. And, and I think the, my, my biggest discovery this week is really that, you know, the reason why gene manipulation can never work, it can never work permanently. It's only a temporary change and that our... <clears throat> and that it, it's, it has to be, there has to be something else, something like a um, consciousness engineering or some sort of a um, cultural control or mind control in order for that, um, the gene manipulation to last longer. And that's because genes are, an expression created by our consciousness. And in other words, that it's what I'm trying to say is that genes are really, or DNA are really the materialization of consciousness. So it's our consciousness that created, that creates whatever a gene is, our gene expression is. Our, so it's not the other way around. That is why when our genes are being manipulated, it never, um, it's, it may only, it is always only a temporary change. It can never be a permanent change because the DNA is, does not create our consciousness. 
rather it's our consciousness that creates the DNA. So that's why our consciousness uh, has been manipulated so much because it is really by manipulating our consciousness, trying to keep it down or trying to lower it. So that's, that's really um, what some part of it is about. And, um, and also gene manipulation is very limited because there are certain functions or especially the higher functions, something like intuition is not governed by genes. It's not, or at least it's not governed by the physical part of the genes. Our genes or our DNA, they are physical part, the parts that we can actually see and touch and manipulate. And then there are actually um, higher dimensions of the DNA that we right now don't have the um, technology to be able to see them, to manipulate them besides manipulating the consciousness. So the, we, there is no combination of, let's say gene number two, if you, if you somehow cut out gene number two and gene number 11, then you will cut down on the, the, the intuition or the, or the, um, precognition, you, you would cut out those abilities, those, those higher functions. Um, no, there is no, no physical genes that govern those functions. That's why gene man manipulation is very limited. It, it may, be a, may be able to limit by manipulating the, the physical genes, how a person's um, eye color may be. Uh, or maybe you can um, manipulate their um, how their skin may look like. Maybe the the pigmentation, the color of the skin, you would be able to manipulate by working on the physical part of the DNA. However, higher functions such as intuition and telepathy, those things, they are not. Um, they cannot be manipulated by working with the physical parts of the DNA. And, and that is a good thing because all meaning that all those higher functions, each and every one of us have them, whether we are able to access them, that's a different story. And the more you you work with your own consciousness, the more you raise your own awareness, the more you um, choose your own frequency, um, all those things, the more you are conscious, the more you will, will be able to access those, those higher frequencies, the higher functions and um, no amount of gene manipulation will be able to cut those abilities out of you. So it's, um, it's, it's a good thing. And for me, that is really a, um, a great realization that consciousness, awareness, and frequency of existence are really such important things to, to cultivate because when we start to work to raise our consciousness, awareness, and, and our frequency, then those higher abilities will just naturally occur. And it does not matter um, what genes you may or may not have. So, so which means that all my um, efforts of trying to to reactivate the you know how to be more to turn on more of the Pleiadian um, abilities or the or the Arcturian um, abilities or, or any of my uh, the, uh, the the DNA ancestors is that they are not the those higher functions are not 
um, they, they cannot be manipulated by working with the DNA. They can be manipulated by working with a consciousness. And when we work on raising our consciousness, doing the, the work that's necessary to, to raise our own consciousness, then it's really, um, those are the, the activities that is going to expand our own abilities. So which means that something like the, if you want to raise your own consciousness, awareness and, um, and frequency, the idea that you are limitless, if you, when you start to think about this idea and, and accept and come to accept that and really live that, this idea to embrace and fully live the idea that we are limitless, it will actually start to liberate the limits that we have previously placed on ourselves. Um, so I remember for myself, one of the, the, I would say, one of the idea that I have embraced that really helped me to on, on my journey of raising my own consciousness is the idea that I'm a spiritual being having a, a, a human experience rather than the opposite, which is I am a human having a spiritual experience. Just that idea of um, switching to embrace and really live and live as though and act as though and know that I am a spiritual being, meaning that um, I am the non-physical parts of me, it's the real me. And the physical part of me is simply a a manifestation of the the, the non-physical part of me. I think that embracing the idea really helped me um, to accept some of the other ideas that also together raise my consciousness. And and some of the other ideas that I, I that we know of already that is going to raise our consciousness. Some of the idea is oneness, the idea of oneness, that we are all actually just one spiritual family, that in spirit, we are all simply one. Even though when we, when we look at um, our body and we, when we look at someone else's body, they are separate bodies. However, just knowing that, yes, physically, we may be separate or our body may, may seem to be separate, but spiritually, we are simply one, same spirit with different embodiment. So these are some of the other ideas that, um, that I won't be able to embrace if I have not accepted the idea that I am a spiritual being. If I were still believing that I'm a human being just having spiritual experience, then um, I would never be able to accept that there is oneness because if I if my, my center of gravity, my, my cent the central belief is that I am this body, then how can I embrace oneness? Because my body is definitely does not look like it is connected to um, my environment or even someone else's body. So, so there are some of the foundation ideas that I, I really believe that helped me to, to grow 
and expand my own awareness. And one other um, really foundation idea that I also want to, to talk about is really the idea to be of service, is to serve other people as much as I serve myself. That really brings in the, the idea that we are all one. In spirit, we are all one. And that's why when I serve someone else, I am also serving myself. And that when I'm hurting someone else, I am also hurting myself. And these ideas I would never be able to accept if I have not accepted the, the first idea is that I am spirit. And last but not least, I want to actually mention something else is that um, the idea that we are joy, light, love. Um, so why is joy, happiness? How come there are, there's so much emphasis on following your own bliss? Why is that so? It's, um, it's really just talking about that. It really can deserves its own episode or episodes, meaning that, you know, it, it's the science or, or the, the, the reason why we, we chase after and we, want and we look for happiness why is that so important it's actually there is a a connection between happiness and being able to access higher consciousness that is why fear and um, lack is is such a weapon in to, to keep our, um, keep us energetically lower. And that's why it's so important to stay in neutrality. When you are in neutrality, you can start to shift and change and, and um, start to manipulate your environment start to and manipulate your own experiences because um, bliss, happiness is really the, the, the energy that is going to raise our consciousness. So it is, that's why the young people, um, babies and, and children, they, they play and they're happy, it is, it is because that happiness that um, I think as an adult, I, I don't put enough emphasis on going after what is, what would make me happy, really allowing myself to be happy, to do things that, um, that I would consider silly. It's actually quite important to, to be silly, to allow ourselves to be silly, to just enjoy the moment. It's because that happiness is really the, um, the food for raising our consciousness. And the idea of neutrality is really because um, happiness may not be something that you can sustain all the time. However, neutrality is a lot more sustainable. 
And also when you're in neutrality, it's much easier to, it does not, or I should say, it does not take much to go from neutrality to happiness and bliss. Whereas when you are in the opposite end of, um, of happy, when you, when you are in fear mode and when you are, when you are worried um, and when you're angry, then you know, happiness is the last thing on your mind. That's why neutrality is kind of the middle ground that um, we can start to, to aim for. However, the, the, the price, I would say, the, 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 the important thing is to actually be happy. When you're happy for no reason, don't, you don't need a reason to be happy. When you can choose to be happy and really let yourself experience happiness just in your body without... Um, having to, let's say, having to have a reason, or, or let's say, oh, you don't need a reason to celebrate when you can just choose to celebrate and be happy. Then you know that your consciousness have to start to, to rise. And if you sustain that for longer periods of time, then consciousness your consciousness has to rise it have to it does not have a um, there's no um, excuse for it not to that is really the that's why um, a lot of the the advice is to follow your own bliss to just do what makes you happy it's it's really so simple and let's and 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 let's see. Um, and so, kind of just to summarize, to summarize is really that genes are expression uh, created by consciousness, not the other way around, and that our consciousness, our awareness, and, and the frequency that we, of our existence, that, what do I mean by frequency of existence is, is really um, where you operate, the frequency that you operate in most of the time. That's really the frequency of experience, of, of existence, is those are really important because they are the things that is going to to create you, your DNA and, and open up your DNA and, and affect your gene expression. Um, I, so the, the, the idea that we can you know, start to work with our you know, um, in telomere, let's say that our telomere to to affect the gene expression to, let's say, um, for example, Sifu James mentioned that, okay, we, we can, if we want to, is to just imagine um, and you, to use the certain procedure in order to put more of um, to make sure that our, our telomere, our, which is the ends of our DNA, to, to lengthen will start to um, revert us back to uh, a, to be younger, to, to kind of reverse aging. And that's one way of affecting it. And, and it's really not a very effective way of, of manipulating it, it's, it's actually the other way around is to, the other thing to do is actually to raise our own awareness, to get to neutrality, to, 
connect to our spiritual brain, to connect to the more spiritual parts of ourselves and starts to strengthen that connection, that actually will start to um, create the desired results, not the other way around. And that's all I want to talk about this evening. <laughs>